dear citizens of Nagaland, a total of 674 samples have been sent for testing from the state till date, and the results of 661 samples have been received and all have been tested as negative. The result for the remaining 13 samples are awaited. Today, a total of 1,397 persons have been screened and a total of 21 persons are under facility quarantine. I would like to inform that the state government has issued an order today stating that all the existing guidelines with regard to the lockdown in all the parts of the state issued wide order of even number dated 28 April 2020 will continue to remain operative till issuance of fresh guidelines. In connection with the lockdown, I will once again like to remind every farmer that agricultural activities are completely exempt from any kind of lockdown restrictions. This is the sowing season and every farmer of our state is urged to come out and carry out all the farming activities while maintaining social distancing. All concerned are also requested to ensure that the farming activities are carried out without any hindrances. Today, the Honorable Chief Minister, along with the Honorable Deputy Chief Minister, Honorable Speaker, Honorable Mem Ministers, Honorable Leader of the Opposition, Honorable Advisors, Honorable Member of Lok Sabha, Honorable Member Rajya Sabha, and the Honorable Members of Nagaland Legislative Assembly discuss the COVID-19 pandemic situation in the state in a meeting. The Chief Secretary Nagaland also gave an overview of the various steps taken by the government since the emergence of COVID-19. As a threat and inform of the various measures initiated for improving the level of preparedness of the state for combating COVID-19. In the health sector, the concerned department gave details of the steps taken for increasing their capabilities and the improvements carried out in the existing health infrastructure for combating the dreaded virus. The additional Chief Secretary and Finance Commissioner gave an overview of the state of finances of the state in the work of pandemic and the lockdown and actions taken for mobilization of additional resources along with initiation of some of austerity measures for cutting down and expenditure. The Food and Civil Supplies Department also informed of the releases of PDS food grains as well as the relief rise for daily wagers and needy people during the lockdown period. The honorable members, both from the ruling and the opposition present in the meeting, actively participated in the discussion shared opinions on the strategy to be allowed for further improving the level of preparedness at all the levels in the state for fighting against COVID-19. Speaking further on the level of preparedness of the health department for combating COVID-19, I would like to inform that up till now, the department has received nine consignments by year and 13 consignments by road of essential medical equipments and accessories and medicines. 
we also have received another two consignments by ear of the equipment for the upcoming BSL Lab 3 at Kohima and then BSL Lab 2 at Dimapur. We now have more than 50,000 PPEs, about 275,000 triple layer masks, and more than 40,000 and 95 masks in the state. We are continuously in the process of further strengthening our medical infrastructure and increasing our capabilities. I would also like to inform that in order to facilitate surveillance to tackle the COVID-19 pandemic, the health department in collaboration with the police has started digital monitoring of people at risk as well as tracking patterns of diseases clustering. Together, let us combat COVID-19. Thank you.